Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. Now, again, I have done some work behind the scenes. Uh, over there in the distance, you'll be able to see our uh, factories um, that we set up, uh, well, between episodes last time. Um, what I have done is up this way, um, sort of north of, of that base, uh, we did find a couple of pure iron nodes. So I've connected, well, started to connect those up, as you can see. We have our two nodes down here, uh, neither of which are currently connected up. I did uh, connect them up to test them, but or, or this one at least. Uh, that isn't connected up to anything at the moment. Uh, this one is producing 240 a minute through a Mark II miner. Uh, and goes up to the second level. Um, obviously this whole building is still a, a work in progress. But if we come up here, we have... Oops, I completely missed that one. Let's try this. There we go. Uh, we have ourselves eight smelters. Uh, now each of the smelters obviously takes 30 a minute. So... That will be 240 iron ore a minute being smelted. Now, obviously, I could use uh, power slugs in here to, to up these. Um, over here, these four, I have not yet connected to anything. Uh, but these four, over here, are feeding out into another conveyor lift up onto the top floor, where we have four constructors. And these four constructors are set to make screws, and we have filled them with power shards. Uh, so they're using 30 iron ingots per minute, as you can see. Um, so we're producing 120 screws per minute from each constructor. Uh, and they're being fed on a Mark IV conveyor. All, oh, oops, that didn't help. There we go. All the way down uh, and joining the um, conveyor feeds taking it down into storage, because we aren't making enough screws, basically. Um, as I say, I've only got one of them connected up, and it's only connected up to half the um, smelters and constructors that we need. Um, but that will do for the moment. Oops. Um, now, where did I have this unplugged? Oh, there. Okay. So, connecting this up should, in theory start everything operating again. So, let's have a look. Here comes the uh, the ore. There go the ingots. Uh, yeah, I think I've got the, um, the, the splitters worked out right here. So, seems to be. Everything seems to be feeding in. Everything is feeding in. Ah, there we go. Here we go. We got some screws coming out now. That's good. So, oops, missed it again. So that is, what is that? 480 screws. Which is exactly how much the conveyor can carry. So... This little section here is operating at 100%. And we're only using half of the uh, ore coming out of the miner at the moment. But that's fine for now. Uh, it's set up so we can expand and... Uh, sorry, wave the camera around there. Uh, it's set up so we can expand later on. So, we have this very, very long skyway taking us all the way down. to join up with the conveyors down here. Uh, I've done a little bit of exploring. Um, I have, that's the wrong button, uh, two hard drives to chuck into the, um, the MAM at some point. Here we go. Yeah, so this is where it joins on with all of these. 
uh, and I've got a Mark IV conveyor going all the way back, uh, and it does join with the feed, the screw feed that we're putting in over there. So we will need to upgrade these belts when we get the opportunity. However, as I said, that is not all I've done. If we come along here, uh, all of this is exactly the same as it was. I haven't, I haven't touched any of this, I don't think. No, pretty sure I haven't touched any of this. Uh, one thing I did notice, however, this is this is just completely an aside. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bit of information, but if I come over here, uh, this is our uh, rotor production or our additional rotor production. Um, and if I scan for iron ore, it tells me there's iron ore. Right here. I mean, I can't see a node. And it, it doesn't appear to be underground, because it's, it's only a metre away. So, yeah, apparently there's, there's a node here. Who knew? Actually, I think somebody did might, might want to have mentioned that at some point in the, in the comments, but... Oh, nuts. Right, but let, let's go and do. Let's go and have a look at what I've actually done, so that we can uh, progress. So I dive into here and head down to our oil field. So the first thing I've done is expand this, uh, and I have reprogrammed the uh, route for the tractor, although it looks like it's got stuck in that corner now. Stupid tractor. You gonna work it out? Oh, there you go. Well done. You figured it out now. Yeah, dear oh dear. Right. Yes. So uh, you can probably already see that there is something different about the place, uh, and that different thing is an entirely new refinery. So if we come back out here, across here we are connected up to a another node um, and this will be producing 240 per minute we are feeding out into what's that eight refineries all making heavy oil residue this is the new recipe that we got from the uh, the hard drive last episode so we're getting 40 heavy oil residue and 20 polymer resin out of each of these as you can see now out the back here and I have no idea if I've connected all of this up right, but all of that heavy oil residue is coming out here and going up there. Um, all of the polymer residue is coming out into this conveyor lift over here. I have a gap in my ladder. Oh well. There we go. So, we have water coming up from there. Being pumped all the way up into these three refineries here. This one is producing rubber and requires 40 polymer resin and 40 water. This one is producing plastic and needs 60 polymer resin and 20 water. Uh, and this one is also producing plastic. Uh, so that's 120 for the two there. Oops. Uh, plus another 40. So no, that's 160. Oop, get back up on here. Uh, we've got the polymer residue coming in as well. And that is all feeding out uh, onto a joined conveyor that feeds along the back of all of these um, things here, which we will come to in a moment, and feeds down into a smart splitter, uh, which obviously splits the plastic and the rubber onto their respective lines down there. Uh, that's a bit clipping through the pipe there, but mm, never mind. It's fine, I'm sure. 
Um, actually, I could easily move that, couldn't I? No, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway. So that's that half of the equation. The other half is that heavy oil residue coming up into five refineries. Because um, it requires 60 a minute uh, to produce 40 fuel. And then we've got six um, generators uh, which consume 40 fuel. Uh, so obviously we won't be using all of these to start with. Because uh, I don't think we'll have enough fuel coming out. No, we won't. We'll only have enough for five of those coming out. So I, I, I won't switch one of those on. Yeah, that's 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 what we're doing. So yeah, so the, the heavy oil residue comes up this pipe here and is fed into the back of these. Uh, and then the fuel feeds out this side. And into all of the uh, generators. Now, power-wise, this is all connected up internally, as it were. Um, I've got a power pole around here somewhere. There we go. Uh, so this section will take 552 um, meg of power. Which, if I have a look at this power pole over here, we have that spare capacity and then some. So we should, in theory, be able to fire this up without losing power anywhere. Like I said, in theory. So, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to bring a power pole over here, I think, and then just connect it up there. Okay. That's working. That's producing. Our polymer residue is coming out. Looks like the heavy oil is coming out as well. Not quickly, though. Are you producing? Oh, yes, you are. Okay, there we go. That should start filling up now. There we are. Now, let's have a look upstairs. Make sure everything's... Oops, missed the ladder. Make sure everything's working up there. We are not getting water. Why are we not getting water? Because you are in the... Oh, oh no, no. Maybe. There we go. We got something coming through now. There we go. Okay, so are you filling up? Yes, you are very slowly. Oh, you're speeding up, though. That's good. All right, everything is now starting to move. So let's just wait for the... Oh, rubber's coming out. Are we going to get any plastic? Yes, we got plastic there. And we've got plastic there. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That's all working. Right. What about over here? It's going to take a little while for any of this um, uh, uh, oil residue to come through. I wonder if we're not going to get that because we don't have sufficient pumps. Yeah, I think it's fair to say we don't have sufficient pumps. Right, let's put another pump on there, shall we? I'll put you... Come on. Actually, it looks like we might be alright, but we'll... No, hang on. We'll put another one on there anyway. Is that going the right way? Yeah. Um... And connect you up there. That should help. There we go. So in theory, that now should be going into our refineries up on the, uh, the next level. In theory. As I said, I haven't, pra I haven't um, tested any of this, so I'm just hoping it works. Okay, you're getting residue and you are producing fuel. 
I'm not sure you're getting enough at the moment, but we'll we'll deal with that. Um, you have no power. You should all be connected up. Whoops. Are you connected up? Yes, you're connected up. Therefore, you should be as well. There we go. Right, what I'll do is I'll come down to this one here. Hmm. Yeah, and I'll turn you off. And in fact, we'll get rid of that so you're not drawing any of the fuel out of the, the system. Okay, that's working, that's working. Oh, that's just fired up, that's just fired up, and that's just fired up. Excellent. You're not getting the fuel quite at the rate we'd like, though, are you? That should pick up. Yeah, because these are producing at 100%. That's fine. That will help. Right, so we're getting extra plastic, we're getting extra rubber. Not that we actually need rubber at the moment. Um, but yeah, oh, there we go. we got plastic coming down there. Uh, and at the moment it's all going through into storage because our packaged fuel line is not moving. Um, our plastic line up to that factory isn't moving. And that's probably because we're maxed out on electronics. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We are going to start using those soon. Because uh, we're going to want to start making um, computers. Uh, let me have a look. Because um, this is what we want to aim at next. So we need... Automated wiring, which we're making, electronics we're making, uh, heavy modular frames we're making, so it's just computers we need. Um, and for that we need electronics, which we're making, cables, plastic, and screws, which we are now making more of. See, there's method to my madness. All of this is for a purpose. Unusually. Right, I'll head back to storage. Right, well, here we are back at the storage. Um, let's have a look how our screws are doing now. Okay, that's filling back up. That's good, because that was empty. So it looks like it's very slowly filling back up with the extra uh, screws coming in from that new production plan. Okay, this is going to be messy. We need another manufacturer. Um, we need plastic. What do we need? Circuit boards, cables, plastic, and screws. Uh, screws are already coming down here, so we could, in theory, uh, bring that out into a splitter and feed it off. That's fine. Um... Nothing else is being brought across yet. Okay. So, under here, I have set up to bring... Let's let's move around this side, where we can see it a bit better. Uh, I am bringing plastic through. So, I think it's probably best that we, we plonk our manufacturer down. Um, on this side here. Because then we'll have easy access to... Um, I don't know, we need those. Hang on, what do we need? I've, I've completely forgotten what we need already. Didn't want to do that. Yeah, so screws, plastic, cables, and electronics. So we could take the screws off from here. Oops, come on, get up on there so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that stopped moving for the moment, so let's capitalize on that. We want a conveyor splitter. There's good. You into there, you into there. Right. That's fine. 
Um, yeah, let's lay out some foundations. We'll we'll stick with concrete. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on. There we go. Right. I'm having problems today. I really am. I think I should just go back to bed. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on. Come on. There we are. Right, that will do. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. Production. Manufacturer. We'll pop it. I guess as close... So in line with this one and as close to the edge as we can. And where's in line? Almost had it. Do you know what? I'm just going to put it there. I don't care that it's not in line. Okay. Mm, that's a bit close, isn't it? And it's also the wrong way around. Oh. Um. I, I do apologize. I, if you're getting some background noise, there's some weird noises coming from outside. Give me one second. Sorry about that. It was someone screaming their head off in the hospital car park. No idea why. But, you know, that's people for you. Okay. Uh, now we're going to want to come out here. Um, yeah, we'll pop it straight into a a, a lift there. Whoops. That's fine. Um, and we will put it there. Come on. Straight line, please. And we'll come out you know, that far. And then we'll just stick another uh, conveyor lift on the other side, I think. Uh, in line with that one. Whoops. In fact, well, that's that's unusual. Um, that's probably fine, isn't it? Like so. Well, I can't see exactly where we are. There we are. Perfect. And then we'll just connect up like that. Okay, so that should be our screws sorted. In theory. Oh, so slow. Come on. Right, now you can feed straight into there. Oh, it's ugly. Never mind. Right, there's our screws. Uh, you're going to be making computers. Let's let's set you up now. Plastic. We'll just bring that around. Um. We want it. There, and in there. That's plastic. Cables and circuit boards. This is going to be, whoops, slightly more tricky, I think. Because we've already got this absolute mess of cable, uh, mess of conveyors up here. Uh, and we want to come out from here. Hmm. What are you? Your quick wire. Can we come down next to the quick wire and sling it underneath? Um. Not easily. It will be coming down about there. 
which is perfectly in line with all of this. Okay, okay. No, we can do this. Can we do this? I don't know how we're going to do this. No, I know how we're going to do this. I think. So we'll pop that on there. And we'll bring it under here. Let's, let's get it. Is that straight? It is. Excellent. Right. And we're going to need to come back up there. Uh, okay, 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 okay. And then under there. No, that's fine. That works. Okay, right. Uh, where are we? There. That's too far, isn't it? Let's put it in this side first, then. Um, and we'll come up straight in there. Um, and that is going to cross over that one, so we'll bring it... Yeah, we'll bring it underneath there. Um, that's going to need to come back. Um, where is it? It's there. Let's see. Oops, that's that's not helped. Right, give me give me five minutes, and I'll I'll see if I can uh, get this sorted. Right, it's all set up. It's an absolute bloody mess. But it's all set up. So, screws, plastic, cables, and electronics. As you can see, I've, yeah, kind of finagled things a little bit to try and fit everything in. But it's, it's, it's there. It fits. Sort of. Not neat, not tidy, not efficient, but it, it, it's connected. Um, if we go back up here, all I've done, whoops, is come straight out of here for the cables and straight out of here for the electronics. So, all we need to do now, in theory, is connect it up. Um... Let's... Actually, let's stick ourselves in a door there. Not that we need it, but we'll stick ourselves a door in there. Um, there we go. And we'll want a wall outlet. Doesn't need to be a Mark II. I don't know why I built a Mark II, but that's fine. And we'll connect it up to that one. And connect that up to that one. And... We're probably working. There we go. How long do you take to make? Okay, we'll, we'll definitely fill up with screws before that's finished by the looks of it. We need 104. Although the screws have slowed down somewhat. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's fine. Right, what are we going to do with these? Well, for the moment, we're just going to stick them in storage. Um, yeah, just, just stick them straight into storage. That's fine. Okay, right. I need 50... And I have nine. Uh, I need 50 to unlock the uh, the monorail. Um, if we go and have a look 
back down this end, I can go and shove the uh, hard drives, that, or one of the hard drives that I've picked up. I can go and chuck that in uh, the MAM. And we can have a look at the, the hub upgrades that we need. So I will dash down there and pick up the action when I get there. Oh, I did make another change. As you can probably see, I've put in a hypertube shortcut to the hub. Just so I can dash backwards and forwards between the hub and the uh, hypertube station without messing around. Ma'am! Hard drive. Scan it. That's hard drive number one being scanned. Right. So, in terms of um, this, we need we need 50 uh, computers, of, so that's going to take a little while to do. Um, I've unlocked the jetpack, because why not? We can actually build one now, even though I have one. Uh, we have the gas mask still to unlock. Uh, the blueprints still to unlock. And jump pads still to unlock. I mean, I could probably just do that. that that's not a problem. Um, we've got monorail technology and then the pipeline engineering. So, we now have everything we need, or we are producing everything we need, to start making adaptive control units. So, I need to bring the automated wiring up to storage. Uh, and that involves figuring out where I'm producing automated wiring. I think it's over there. But I'm not sure. It's around here somewhere, I know that. Um, that's not going anywhere, that looks hopeful. Yay, automated wiring, right. Oh, gosh. This is going to be uh, problematic. Oops. Um. No, okay, okay, no, no, we can do this. Yeah, we can do this. It's going to be, again, an absolute mess. Um, but I don't think we really need to bring these into storage. I don't think. I could be wrong, and we can always change that later. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. Um, so... Comes out there. Is that right? No, it's not. Um, so it's got to be there. That's better. Okay, now. Let's drop down here. Uh, which way are we going to take it? Uh, it needs to join over there. Have we got room to go along the side? I think we probably do. So, let's go for it. That helps. Okay, right, so we're coming in here. That's straight, I think. Oh, come on. There we are. Okay, right, now I need to feed this all the way up to where we're going to put the manufacturer. So, I'll do that and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm just embracing the mess at this point. I really am. So, we have... Yeah, it, it's set up to make adaptive control units. We've got automated wiring coming in here. Uh, that's just coming straight up from... Um, uh, down by the hub. So it's coming all the way up and just straight into here. We're not bothering putting that into storage at the moment. We can put a splitter on and, and take it up into storage if we need to later on. Uh, we've got our um, circuit boards coming along, uh, having been dropped down. Whoops. 
Ah. Excuse me, one second. Yeah, so our circuit boards drop down here. And I've put a splitter on the line uh, there to draw half of them out towards uh, our new manufacturer. Uh, so they're going basically alongside these. Um, we've got our cables coming in. Whoops. No, we don't want cables, do we? We want electronics, which are going in there. We've got these control units going in here. We've got uh, modular frames coming down from storage there and being brought along. And we've got computers being brought down from storage there and into here. Yeah. So, let's... Put ourselves another wall in. Um, we'll put it there. We'll put ourselves another uh, outlet on there. We'll connect that up. Come on. To that one. We're going to need a, to upgrade that to a Mark II if we're going to put any more power on there. But we can now connect this straight up, and everything's feeding in. Uh, I'll dump those in. That, that's all it will take. Um, I'll dump one computer in. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's everything it needs. And we'll bring this out into storage as well. Because that's just easier at the moment. Uh, where's the... There we are. We'll just pop it in there. Like so. And it only produces one a minute. So, yeah. That's fine. Um, so it's going to take us nearly an hour to build up enough to uh, send up on the space elevator. Right. Whilst I was doing all that messing around... Our hard drive finished cooking. So, let me dive down there. And we'll see what we got. Okay, here we are. What have we got? Uh, alternative polymer resin. Made out of crude oil. Okay, that's better. I think. Well, no, no, that's... Hmm... Yeah, that's not as good. That doesn't produce as much um, heavy oil residue. Uh, alternative quick wire, alternative plastic. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm not impressed by any of these, honestly. I don't, don't think any of them are particularly useful for us. Um, I'll go for this one, I suppose. And we'll put the next hard drive in. But we will leave it there for this episode. I think we're making some actual decent progress for a change. I think we're actually getting somewhere. Um, let's have a look. How many... I don't have any computers on me. Oh no, I have 50 computers on me. I can get the monorail. Let, let's do that quickly. Big red button. There we go. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Thank you very much, Ada. And with that, we will leave it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining us. Please join us next time. Uh, please do give us a, a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed it and you would want to uh, to see more of the same or similar. Uh, please check out the other videos on my channel. And please keep the comments coming in. They are very helpful. Um, I, I've said before, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to uh, implement everything because I just can't remember it all, basically. <laughs> I don't have the memory for it. Um, but thank you very much for everyone that does uh, offer suggestions and help and advice and, and all of that sort of stuff. Really do appreciate the support. Thank you very much. 
Um, so until next time, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye. <laughs>